excited, anxious, ready to go. You know, when you go through the preseason six weeks, it uh, gets to be a long time. But uh, finally here, uh, I think I was just as nervous then as I am now and anxious to get going. Um, games are where you have to perform and you get to find out who the guys are that are going to crack under pressure and which line combinations are going to work. And I think the first few games you're going to try, we'll try to put guys in different situations just to see how they respond. You know, it was uh, a long time ago, 20 years, and a lot's changed. Uh, a lot's been accomplished and a lot more to accomplish still. So really excited and uh, the butterflies are still there. Their name has helped define the sport of collegiate hockey at the highest level. Their identity can be found in a single word, the brotherhood. It's all about hard work, okay, let's go. A storied program annually listed among the elite, driven not only by their past success, but by the expectations placed upon them. Game time, it's in the bag, you better believe it. We all play for a loser, show out dominating this season, it's time. Take that dub with us, so we leaving. You not with us to the streets and brave. I turn it up for the season. Game time. It's the season 2018 Miami Hockey. Fresh off an opening night victory, the Miami Redhawks returned to Goggin Ice Arena the following day for round two with Alabama Huntsville. But coach Enrico Blasi knows there is much room for improvement, which he outlines at their morning meeting. At our level, the hardest thing is to communicate. If you're communicating loud and clear and you're shoulder checking and that's your responsibility, we're gonna get a lot of odd man rushes because this is a team that likes to step up on you. I wanna see every shift the same. Every line that goes out does the same thing. Structure. The team game is what's gonna win us lots of games. Everybody the same. Everyone in this room believes in everybody. There's no worry about that, okay? We know they're gonna come out hard tonight. We have to match that, and then let's raise our level a little bit more, okay? In our structure, always together. Here we go. Back in goal for the Red Hawks is junior Ryan Larkin, who is always working nice. to improve. Never paddle down until you have to, right? Keep that chest up. If he tries to go around me, what's my play? So I gotta swing? Rotate. So, we're here, we're down. See how my weight's here, I'm leaned over. I come here, my weight's still here, and I just push off right into that play. Yeah. And I'm over it. A little bit of what you had there was, you know, it wasn't as much, you're kind of lean here, and then it was a push, and then what'd you have to do? Yeah. Right, because we lost our push to get over. Okay. Makes sense? Yep. Stay over. With less than 24 hours to regroup, the difference between winning and losing is often both physical and mental. Coach Ben Eves uses a careful protocol to make sure their bodies stay limber for their impending return to the ice. While a mindset training exercise equips the team with tools that could be of equal importance. So you guys have worked on the physical side all off season, in season, working on lifting, getting stronger, faster, skill work. But really what separates good from great is right here, the, the, the mental side. So we're gonna talk about really a little toolkit. Everybody big like this, let me see a little toolkit. Little Aaron Rodgers discount double check Batman utility belt toolkit to go to when your moments of stress or success or failure. And guys, really, it's about being present without judgment. I need three volunteers real quick. Let's go, Brotherhood. Colin Henderson was a two sport star at Washington State and knows the difference between winning and losing often comes from handling adversity. Your focus, how much of your focus? is in the past, I want you to face backwards. How much of your focus is on the last game, the last season, the last practice, the last play? How much of your focus, look up, is on the future? You're just obsessing over playing that what if game. But how much of your focus, look, up, look at the end, the brotherhood, is on right now? I want you to add up to 100%. The Red Hawks hope that by mastering the inner game, they can dominate the outer game. Attitudes are contagious, right? with your body language, how you speak to your teammates. Have you guys heard of the, of the phrase self-talk? Quality thought equals quality movement. Negative thought equals negative movement. If you had a teammate that made a mistake, would you go like this? You suck, you're horrible, you should quit, get off the team. Would you guys do that? 
then why would you do that to your own self? Across the street from the arena sits Anderson Hall, where highly touted freshman Jonathan Gruden gets his inspiration from his family. Hi, honey. So, how's practice going? It's good. Uh, Tough? Oh, yeah. We're just kind of really, kind of like excited for the game. Everyone's kind of like, I don't know, just like they can't stop thinking about it. I know, it's exciting. Should be fun. We're excited. Should be a lot of fun. I know. All this preparation, and now here it comes. Yep. Grudz, as his teammates call him, was drafted in the fourth round, 95th overall, by the Ottawa Senators in the 2018 NHL Draft, and hopes his time with the Red Hawks will help him follow in the footsteps of many NHL greats who wore the red and white. I grew up in Rochester, Michigan, just north of Detroit, and I was there my, my whole life playing hockey for, for that many years, so just enjoying it ever since. After flashes of brilliance at the AAA level at Little Caesars and Honeybaked, he chose to enroll in the USA Hockey National Team Development Program. You really don't get that experience anywhere else playing on that USA jersey every day. It's, it's a pretty special feeling, and um, just playing with the best players in your country every day, it gets you that much better. So um, for me, it was a no-brainer just, you know, you know, being from Michigan, Howlers in Plymouth, I kind of always went to the games growing up. So um, I love my time there, and uh, it really helped me develop to come here. Playing against top competition molded his skills, and he would eventually help Team USA earn a silver medal at the U18 World Championships. What's up? George, what's happening? How you doing? I moved into my place. Oh, nice. Let me see it. His father, John, played in the NHL and is now an assistant coach with the New York Islanders and is eager to offer encouragement. Doesn't matter who you play, you know that. I know. And everyone's settling in. Yeah, just ready to play. Well, you guys going to put in the time and the rank like you do in the everything else. You guys should be in good shape. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> All right. We'll be good this year, so we're excited. Good. Well, I love you, honey. All right, All right love you. Fun. As game time approaches, so too does the focus of the Red Hawks. Hey, do yourself a favor. Jump into the moment right away tonight. We're communicating all over the ice, fellas. You win every battle. Pay attention to detail. Let's get after it. Let's go. It is puck time for the Miami Hockey Red Hawks and off and running last night to the tune of a 5-1 win. The Red Hawks looking for the opening weekend sweep. Are you ready to go here right off the hop, boys? Hard work. We outworked them all night. Good things happen. Let's get it done. Hawks on three. One, two, three, Hawks. It's the Red Hawks playing host for the Chargers from the University of Alabama in Huntsville. Deep, deep, deep. Nice, nice, go, go, go. Nice. Back. Time, time. Early on, both teams trade chances. Shot. Just shot, just shot. All right, let's go. Let's try and stretch them and pop one of you guys. Huh? Let's try and pop stretch the draw. Them. Yeah. You're gonna stretch? Hey! You Groot, start on the wall. I'm gonna go to Hunts. Work's gonna stretch. You come high, we go to the net. Despite Miami out shooting the Chargers 9 to 3, the first period ends in a scoreless tie. We're getting a power play soon. Huh? We will. We'll just keep moving your feet, dude. It'll, it'll reward us. So we're going to start hinging. And you guys can come down. You guys will get speed. They're just cheating to one side of the ice. You guys will have tons of time and space. All the shifts where communication has been well, we've absolutely worked them. First thing, when you get caught out there too long, then you can't play with energy and speed and pace. We got to make sure, guys, you got to, that internal clock's got to be up, back, in, off. Up, back, in, off. It can't be up, back, up, back, up, back. Then you get yourself in trouble. It's not that necessarily you're tired that shift, but then your next shift, you're going to be gassed. So you got to be responsible for that, okay? That's number one. All right, 20 minutes here, structure, 
All right, make good plays. Keep everything in front of you. Let's get our feet moving. Let's go. And second period underway. They have dominated here the first two and a half minutes. It felt like a power play. Yeah, that's exactly what it looked like, right? In the second, graduate transfer River Rimsha puts the Red Hawks on the board. There's a shot, and sending it on in. Moments later, okay. Karch Bachman got in on the action with his second goal of the weekend. Back to the blue line, Mahalik has it. He wants to get in on the action. Sends it in. Rebound tipped in. And scores. And he got hit. In the third, Melnick's hard work is rewarded. It was a positive start for the Red Hawks, a shutout victory where even the bounces went their way. Back out front, tipped in and scored! Ryan Soroki! A very successful opening weekend in this new look revamped Red Hawks. In the locker room, the mood matched. Love and honor to Miami forever and a day and you! Not just the points, I think River played a hell of a game today. Yeah. Um, real test is next week, boys. This one feels good, but uh, let's get back to work on Monday and let's have a good week. Yeah. Two wins, found a way to close out the third twice in a row. Let's get used to that, huh? Yeah! And while it was only their first weekend, the momentum amongst the Brotherhood is apparent.